December of that year, the mining disaster near Big Montauk killed 360 men, 250 of them fathers. Um, they had basically living around, you know, they had left a thousand fatherless children. She suggested her pastor, Thomas Webb, honor all the children. Ted Clayton also had been inspired by Ann Jarvis' crusade to establish Mother's Day earlier. Jarvis had held a celebration for her dead mother, so she held a celebration for her. Basically, like I said, what happened looks like her father died before the thing came about. Because if you read it carefully, uh, she was honoring, mourning the loss of her father. And her father was supposed to give the sermon for the fathers. So I'll lay you odds they read his sermon. Mm -hmm. about dedicating this day to the, the fathers of these thousand children that were lost. So That's a bit different. It is a difference. So it had nothing to do... <coughs> um, because yes, they were celebrating, or well, actually, they were mourning fathers. Yeah. Because typically, like Mother's Day and Father's Day, it's a celebration of the mother and the father. Yeah. Right? There's a difference between the mourning of them, I, some people consider celebrating it. Yeah, because it's just that they're trying to they're trying to wedge something in and change history to give somebody credit that had a good thought, but a lot of people have a good thought. I mean, I'm, I'll flat out tell you, I designed the rail system, the the fast rail system between uh, Riverside and Las and Las Vegas. They're getting ready to put in. Does anybody give me credit? No, but I did design it mm -hmm. a long time ago. She knows I designed it. And a lot of people know, I just, I mean, they're sitting on the same bloody path where I figured it was going to go. And, but I, because I didn't, you know, my name is all over the bloody place. I don't get credit. A lot of people don't get it. My, um, my grandfather designed, you know, that the, the, the pocket wrench that basically has all the, the reversible heads on it. you got like four or five heads here and four or five heads there. My grandfather designed it because he was, uh, he was designing warplanes and they couldn't get all the tools inside the carriage of the, in, in parts of the plane, so he, he designed a thing that a person could put in his pocket, take out of his pocket, and do adjustments. Mm -hmm. My grandfather didn't get credit for that, because a lot of people do not get credit if they're just doing their jobs. Right, and the credit went to the company. Yeah, the credit went to the company. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is this woman probably did do the for you know honoring her father what well, probably was Father's Day, but it doesn't make any difference because the Congress of the United States has already recognized the other woman. They, mm -hmm. Congress does not change things. It will never change. If they recognized, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, Schnuffle Snuffles as being the creator of Schnuffle Snuffles, and then you find out Snuffle Snuffles never existed, they won't change the name from mm -hmm. Schnuffle Snuffles. They'll just continue honoring. The made-up mm -hmm. person. That's how it works. Because they will not, Congress will never go back and change something. It's never been done. Never yeah, can you imagine to go all that time to agree on something? To yeah. get them to bring it? First of all, to get a bill to come to the floor, you've got to get all of these people to sign off of it? Well, she knows she was a congressional aide. She knows the difficulty it is to get, to get Congress to agree on anything. <laughs> it doesn't happen that well, way. Well, think about it with you and your friends. Say you've got a group of 10 people. How often is it that a majority of you all agree? Well, actually, sometimes a majority. Let's say two thirds of you all agree on the same thing. It never happens. Okay. If you can get the majority of one. So, you're and then pleased. take this and multiply it by how many congressmen? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it took uh, 70, what is it, 73 years, or 63 years to get this through Congress. And, and they specifically honored the woman that basically was doing all the pushing. That's, Okay, we're gonna, well, I'm going to try something. I worked on an episode of MASH where uh, William Christopher played Claude Okay, he was being passed over for promotions. At the end of the thing, he finally got his promotion. And he said, well, the meek may inherit the earth, the grumpy get the promotions. It's the person that's always out there. Henry Ford was out there. The Wright brothers were out there. Uh, you know, the gentleman, Eli Whitney, was out there. You know, Eddington, Gatling. Uh, Browning, these people were all out there. Other people actually had been there before them in every one of these cases, but these were the people that everyone associates. They associate the Xerox with a copy machine. Mm -hmm. How many people will still call a, a copy a Xerox? Xerox basically, when's the last time you saw a Xerox machine? Mm -hmm. But it's the, it is the person that is out there gets the, the recognition, but this is just the amendment this year. I'm assuming. Which actually I've never seen before. I know. 
It, well, we try to give you something new every year when we do it because otherwise you get bored. You get the same information. I think you just look at the other one. Because they want to tell you the same family stories every year. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I mean, this year I added the fact that she called my father up on, she called my father from all over the God of the world on Father's Day. Because she was, she was my father. Said so she, okay, she, uh, okay, we'll, we'll try to put it this way. My better half, Angelique, was Japanese-American, and we lost her right before Not a Spring Chick came around. Mm -hmm. And they sort of adopted her. <laughs> I mean, totally adopted her. Well, actually, she came around within months. Mm -hmm. So, it just like, she replaced the one Asian side of the family with the, uh, which, she, actually, this George was the better Asian side of the family. Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. My father did not like my mother-in-law this lightest because I said, well, my father, my father on our wedding offered my mother-in-law a set of hard card knives. <laughs> if she wanted to do something for the family, she could commit suicide. My father, my father was shipped off from, uh, after the Battle of the Bulge, was shipped from European theater when he got out of the hospital over to the Asian, the Pacific theater. And tank commanders in the Pacific were really stupid. There was no place to run tanks, so he did not. He was not happy with the Japanese. So. Mm -hmm. He was also at Pearl Harbor when they got bombed too. So, okay. so what you want to do is you want to marry a Japanese American. <laughs> yeah, he liked her though. The mean little thing, you know. So, but, but no. This is our Father's Day, and we hope every year we hope to continue doing this for years to come. You know, and maybe someday other than just Monty, she'll be able to talk to you for ten. And, for Mother's Day, so and then then Father's Day from that time. Then, then it all changed because, well, you wouldn't be a father if it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. Like I said, so <laughs> I've heard that said so many times. You wouldn't be a father if it wasn't for me. So, which is right. So let's take me out to dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, until next time, this is Old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow for more information. Www.montyboas.net on the net. Wherever you're watching us, subscribe, subscribe to us and follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.